Hi, my name is Aditi Yarm and I'm a ninth grader at Rouse High School here to teach you about venous thrombosis so you can spread awareness and we can stop it from spreading. What exactly is venous thrombosis? Venous thrombosis, also known as deep vein thrombosis, is a blood clot in a deep vein, usually in the legs. Deep vein thrombosis can be very serious because blood clots in your veins can break loose travel through your bloodstream, and get stuck in your lungs, blocking blood flow. If you look at the image at the bottom of the screen, you can see how DVT works and how the blood clot affects the leg. Data and statistics. Here are some statistics about venous thrombosis. The precise number of people affected by DVT is unknown, although as many as 900,000 people could be affected each year in the United States. Estimates suggest that 60,000 to 100,000 Americans die of DVT. 10 to 30% of people will die within one month of diagnosis. One third of people will, with DVT will have a recurrence within 10 years. Risk factors and symptoms. The chances of developing DVT are about one in 1,000 per year, although certain factors greatly increase this risk. Risk factors may include age, if you are older than 60, obesity, like overweight and obese people, type A blood group. People in the type A blood group have a thicker blood than people in other blood groups, so they have more risk of getting blood clots. Leg pain or swelling may occur, but there also may be no symptoms. Usually, if you have DVT, you may experience pain in the calf, foot, or leg. It's also common to have extreme swelling, tenderness, or warm skin. Some of the causes of, for DVT include surgery, particularly surgery of the hip, leg, or abdomen, trauma. Trauma like bone fractures or broken bones can cause DVT as well. A long period of bed rest or sitting down for a long time, cancer. Cancer itself increases your risk of getting blood clots because it thickens your blood. Pregnancy. You can develop DVT at any stage of pregnancy pregnancy and up to six weeks after birth. Birth control. Birth control pills or hormones taken for symptoms of menopause is also a cause for DVT. Blood treatment. Treatment. There are both medications and devices for treatment. Treatments include blood thinners, which prevent clots from getting bigger and reduce risk of developing more clots. Compression stockings are elastic hoistery that squeezes blood up the legs to prevent swelling and blood clots. Apixaban and heparin are both types of medications. Apixaban can treat and prevent blood clots, and heparin can decrease the ability of the blood to clot. How to prevent venous thrombosis. You can prevent it by losing weight if you are overweight, staying active, rec exercising regularly, walking is great too, avoiding long periods of staying still, doing heel or toe exercises, circling your feet if you cannot move around, drinking a lot of water, and wearing loose fitted clothing when you travel. Thank you for watching pre my presentation. I hope it helped you learn something about various thrombosis and encourages you to spread awareness.